Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here? And what we have here, we can write x plus one here as x minus one plus two. That is here. What we have becomes four raised to the power x minus one plus two, then minus four raised to the power x minus one equals to 40 on this side okay next step here we apply the law of indices when we have a raised to power m plus n here we can write this as a raised to power m times a raised to power n that is here we treat x minus 1 as m then 2 as n then we have 4 raised to power x minus 1 times 4 square then minus 4 is to power x minus 1 then equals to 40 on this side the next step here we have 4 is to power x minus 1 comma we factor it out as 4 is to power x minus 1 into bracket here we have 4 square left then minus one left here close bracket which is equals to 40 on this side that is yeah the same thing as 4 is to power x minus 1 into bracket 4 squared that's 16 and minus 1 equals to 40 here then this becomes 4 is to power x minus 1 times 15 then equals to 40 on this side. The next step here, we divide both side by 15. That is, divide this side by 15. Also, divide this side by 15. That is, here, 15 cancel each other. We have 4 is to power x minus 1, then equals to 40 over 15 here. Which also we can write as 4 raised to the power x minus 1 equals to here yeah, we have 5 times 8, then over here yeah, we have 5 times 3. That is here, yeah, 5 cancelled each other. We are left with 4 raised to the power x minus 1 equals to 8 over 3. That is, from here, we take the log on both sides. That is, here, we have log 4 raised to the power x minus 1 equals to log 8 over 3 here. The next step here, we apply the power law of log here. From where we have log m raised to the power p, the same thing as p log m that is from here p here is standing as x minus 1 and we have x minus 1 log 4 then equals to log 8 over 3 the next step here we divide both side by log 4 divide this side by log 4 also divide this side by log 4, which implies here log 4 cancel each other. And we have x minus 1 left, which is equal to log 8 over 3 divided by log 4. Then also from what we have here, this follows on the log log here. When we have log a, over b the same thing as log a minus log b that is what we have here becomes x minus 1 equals to log 8 minus log 3 then over log 4 then from here, also we separate this into two fractions, and we have x minus 1 
equals to log 8 over log 4 minus log 3 over log 4. That is, from what we have here, we can express it as 2 times 2 times 2, which is 2 is to power 3, and also 4 as 2 times 2, which is 2 squared. That is, here, yeah, this becomes x minus 1 equals to log 2 raised to power 3 over log 2 square and minus log 3 over log 2 square. Then we apply the power law of logarithm here. 3 comes here, 2 comes here, then also here, and this becomes x minus 1 equals to 3 log 2 over 2 log 2 minus log 3 over 2 log 2. That is, from here, log 2 cancelled each other. We have x minus 1 left, which is equal to 3 over 2, then minus here. You can write this as 1 over 2 log 3 over log 2. Then, also here, minus 1 here, you take it to the right hand side, become plus. And this becomes x equals to 1 plus 3 over 2 minus 1 over 2. Here, we apply change of bits. And when we have log a over log b, this can be expressed as log a to base b. That is, yeah, this becomes log 3 to base 2. Then, also here, what we have here, which is 1 plus 3 over 2, the same thing as 1 number 3 over 2. And when we change it to improper fraction, 2 times 1, 2, then plus 3, that's 5. So this becomes 5 over 2. That is, here yeah, we have x now equals to 5 over 2 minus 1 over 2 log 3 base 2. Then, from what we have here, I'm bringing this together as 1. That is, x equals to SCM here, we have 2, and this is 5, then minus log. 3 base 2. So here we have the value of x here as 5 minus of 3 base 2 all over 2. Then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem. That is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to. 5 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2. Then what we have here becomes 4 raised to power 5 minus log 3 base 2 over 2. Then we have plus 1 here. Then minus. Also here we have 4 raised to power 5 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2 then minus 1 is it equals to 40 on this side. Then from here when we apply the law when this is here this is common we can bring it out as 4 is to power 5 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2 then here we are left with 4 is to power 1 then minus here we are left with 4 is to power minus 1 those brackets then equals to is equals to 40 here that is what we have here 
we can rewrite it when we have a raised to power minus n which is same thing as 1 over a raised to power n which implies that here yeah, this can be written 4 raised to power minus 1 is same thing as 1 over 4 raised to power 1 which is 1 over 4 that is here yeah, we have 4 raised to power 5 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2 into bracket. Here 4 is to power 1 that's 4 then minus 1 over 4 as well. Then close bracket is equal to 40 here. That is from here. This is 4 over 1. And when we bring this together as well, that is we have 4 over 1 minus 1 over 4. Let's see here is 4. 1 in 4, 4, 4 times 4, 16. Then 1, 4 in 4, 1, 1 times 1. That's 1 minus 1, that's 15 over 4 there. That is here. This becomes 4 raised to power 5 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2 times. This becomes 15 over 4 is equal to 40 on this side. That is. From here, we can write this and change 4 to 2 raised to power 2, which is raised to power 5 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2 times 15 over 4 is equal to 40 from here. Then this power here multiplies and 2 here cancel each other. We have 2 raised to power 5 minus log 3 base 2 left then times 15 over 4 is equals to 40 on this side and also here when we apply the law of indices from where we have a raised to power m minus n is same thing as a raised to power m over a raised to power n which implies yeah what we have can be written as 2 raised to power 5 over 2 raised to power log 3 base 2 n times 15 over 4 is equals to 40 here. And from what we have 2 raised to power 5 to multiply say 5 times, this equals 32 then over here. Follows when we have a raised to power log b to base a. This equals to b. That is here. This same thing as 3 then times 15 over 4. Is equals to 40 on this side. Then, here we can say 3 year 1 and 3 year 5, 4 year 1 and 4 year 8. So we are left with 8 times 5 is equals to 40 on this side. And of course, 8 times 5 year give us 40, which is equals to 40 year. Now we have the left hand side equals to the right hand side and ends here we conclude that x equals to 5 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2 satisfy this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more videos and turn the description bell share this video with thumbs up and put your comments see you next class and bye for now